Hi guys, welcome back to Kitchen Wall Gamers and welcome back to my kitchen. So in this video, uh, it's the first of uh, three parts um, because I'm going to do um, a make it, paint it and uh, play it um, series, uh, which shall all be out this week. Uh, this is the first one. I'm calling it making it um, because you won't be seeing making it. I'll just show you um, like an unboxing and some of the models when they're made up. And then I'll show you how I go about painting them. And then hopefully by the weekend, uh, hopefully Saturday coming up, um, it'll be a play it uh, where one of the guys will come down and uh, you'll see these uh, troops in action. Okay, the box set itself then, um, it's known as uh, the British and Inter-Allied Commandos. Now I was thinking to myself, Inter-Allied? I thought there was only British uh, Commandos. But apparently they drafted in people from uh, Poland, uh, Belgium, uh, and other countries uh, that uh, had come over to the UK after the uh, the Germans had uh, taken Europe to obviously um, fight against them. Um, so that's where the inter-allied uh, bit come in. Um, the, um, so you have to excuse me a minute, uh, I've got my daughter's dog here with me again, trying to get into the action. Um, go and lie down, that's a good girl. Um, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, uh, what I'll do is have a look what you get in the uh, the box set. Um, okay, so here we go. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's 30 models in it, and um, um, yeah, and you get the bases and everything. But we'll have a look at the details in the in a minute. Okay, over on the back, uh, you've got the good old uh, painting guide and some information um, as well. Well, not the painting guide, what what paints to use. But as you know, I've probably not got any of them, so I'll just paint them. Um, how I, how I do. A um, bit of fluff on them uh, about what I just said. Uh, they were made up in 1940 from uh, orders from Winston Churchill to get like an elite force so they can go raiding the Germans and uh, causing a bit of bother. Uh, they served in Europe, Burma and Africa. Uh, I wasn't too sure actually about Africa. I thought like, it was like the SAS and the long range uh, desert groups. Um, I didn't realise the commandos were there. I thought they were primarily for Europe but uh, they served in Europe as well. Um, okay, so that's the box. Um, let's go and have a look what's inside. Okay, uh, just before I grow, uh, crack on, I just wanted to uh, mention some things um, that I should have said in the, the beginning of the bit. I was a bit lost with the, uh, the dog um, moping around my feet, um, about to knock the camera down and everything. I uh, just want to say thank you to all uh, subscribers, uh, I've had quite a few uh, new ones and also thanks very much for all the people who have uh, given me uh, best wishes and um, you know getting well wishes uh, after my last video because as you know I um, won't go into it too much, um, I've had some problems with me uh, knees and joints and wrists and everything like that um, so thank you for uh, everyone who's uh, wished me well. I uh, just want to say thank you to uh, Richard who's uh, bought me a coffee, and also to uh, Stephen or Stefan, sorry if I uh, um, get your name wrong there, who's um, twice now, twice round now has uh, bought me coffees. So thank you very much. Uh, and if anybody does want to buy me a coffee, description's in the background. Um, it's just like a one-off uh, payment, uh, just to um, help me along with the channel a bit. Um, so thanks for that. Okay, so um, like I said, you get five sprues. Uh, include, uh, include, not including this one, sorry, this is the extra, just for your bases. So you get all your basics for your bases for the troops that's in the box. Okay, so here's the sprue itself then. Um, just see if we can get closer a bit more. Okay, I'll just go through it. Um, over here you have uh, rifle bandoliers, um, some extra ammunition pouches, a shovel. Uh, these down here, these are uh, respirator cases. Uh, that you can put on if you wish to. Over here is the good old uh, commando knives, which was a double-sided uh, knife that they used um, very effectively. Um, these are in the uh, scabbard still, so you could like um, put them onto various bits of the equipment or on the boots. Uh, something else the commandos were known for is their bergens, uh, which were quite huge. Um, I think they were a bit more better than the general issue stuff. Uh, they could hold more and uh, take more around the, you know, to, onto missions with them. Uh, one there with uh, rope on it, uh, a pickaxe, 
um, whoops, uh, some of the grenades, uh, light mortar, pair of binoculars for your officer, uh, a map arm for your officer, and um, a carrier for your uh, light mortar. Over here, uh, an arm with a rifle and a Thompson machine gun. Now, apparently, the commandos used to love um, taking the Thompson machine gun because it was, uh, you know, a bit lighter, more portable, get more shots off and a bit more for their you know close-knit elite um, raids that they did on the, the Germans and an, another Bergen there with a bit of rope on as well okay over here another Bergen with rope uh, a rifle arm and some of the bodies I'll just go through all the bodies there you got a kneeling down guy you know the, the same sort of poses uh, guys running advancing forward also a Piat team uh, weapon um, you could have the um, you know the guy who's got the pie at holding both or the loady which is what I normally do to carry the ammunition this arm here is um, for loading the light mortar so it's a light mortar round in there another rifle um, so you could have this the guy that's carrying your pie at or your mortar round that's the opposite arm for him so he's carrying his rifle now this is somewhat um, specific to the commandos, it's a Vickers machine gun that was usually attached to aircraft and um, they found it, um, I don't know if it was a bit more lighter uh, but also a bit more stubbier, uh, easier to carry around and use uh, and had a, a greater rate of firepower and more rounds than the, uh, the Bren gun. Here a guy with um, a, a small machete type weapon, more rifles, again more SMGs. Uh, Thompson's and more rifles. Down here we have uh, extra ammo for the guy who's um, helping you with the LMG. Um, more knives and the heads as well. You've got two types of head. You've got these ones which I call the, the commando uh, hats. It's like a, a woolly hat thing. Uh, um, I, I relate more to commandos. And on the other side is guys with berets. Uh, I would call them Royal Marines but you know they were, they were interchangeable as well so you could change up the uh, berries with the uh, the caps and vice versa but mine what I'm going to do is uh, just use the commando hats I think they're better a guy with his uh, commando knife there out ready to go um, pistol arm for your uh, officer okay so that's the uh, the sprue okay what I'll do now uh, oh sorry also in the box as well you get the uh, the good old uh, transfers i don't use them a bit too fiddly for me uh, but they're there you know for giving that authenticity um so yeah that'll be great uh okay what i'll do now is go away and uh, show you some guys uh, pre-made up uh, see you in a sec okay guys so uh, here's five models uh, i've made up already like I said, I'm going to use them all with the commando hat, but uh, just to show you, uh, I've built one up. Uh, here he is cocking his uh, Thompson, getting it ready to fire. Uh, he's got the cap on. Uh, I might use him as uh, an officer, actually. Um, you know, he's a bit different, so we uh, stand out a bit more. Um, the backpack with the rope on. I think they look really good, really good poses. Okay, uh, another guy. Uh, whoops getting in focus loading this Thompson this one uh, getting the magazine up there and again with the uh, the backpack they're actually called uh, Bergens um, so I keep saying backpacks but the Bergens that was the name given to them uh, with some rope underneath uh, another guy getting ready shouting something out and with his Bergen on again And just to show you, the guy with his rifle, uh, with his bayonet fitted. Again, roll on his Bergen there. And the guy with the LMG, the Vickers. As you can see, it's a bit more stubbier than the, um, the Bren. And there he is. Okay, a bit short and sweet this one. But like I say, uh, next video uh, is, which I'll release um, sometime midweek, uh, probably on a Wednesday night. Well, um, I'll be showing you how I go about painting them. And then the video after that will hopefully be in game. Um, so, um, yeah. So what I'm going to do with the games, uh, I'm not going to 
uh, make a full platoon with them. I'm going to make small uh, raiding parties, so about 10 men. And what I'll do is uh, one model, one dice. Now I have played these games before, if you look back on some of my solo games. Um, I think it's quite good for, you know, especially for the small raiding parties, uh, where they'll be given an objective to do. Um, and there's like only 10 of them, and the same for the other side. I might mix it up a bit more, um, but I'll show you that when we come to game. So uh, if you look back on some of my solo games, you, you'll see how I do that, one model, one dice. Um, but yeah, you'll see it again, obviously, when they're in game. Okay, guys, thanks very much. And uh, don't forget, you can uh, buy me a coffee, uh, link in the bottom there, just to help the channel out a bit more. And uh, thanks a lot for the guys who have. And um, please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, leave any comments you've got. Um, love reading the comments. Got um, loads of great comments. And uh, if it's something you need to point out to me, point it out because you know I learn as I go along, especially off you guys. So thanks very much, and see you in the next one. So in the meantime, remember to make it, paint it, and play it. <laughs> see you again soon, guys. Bye.